Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing my Fat Fit Fun unboxing for fall. This box feels so heavy. It feels so heavy. I'm super excited to get this. Fat Fit Fun is a seasonal box. You get it four times a year. It is $49.99 per box, but there is a $250 and above value to these boxes. I have, this is the third one I've received now. I did get the summer box and the summer edit box. Uh, if you are a member that pays for your subscription for longer periods of time, you're considered a select member and you're able to go in and cater your box to your likes, wants, wills, and desires, more so than if you are just a monthly subscriber, which I think is really cool. I did purchase mine for a year. I love this box. You get all kinds of stuff in this box from lifestyle to beauty and beyond. I think it's just an amazing box. But it is super cute. It does have like a little fall theme to it. I don't know if you guys can see, but the lady riding the bicycle. It does have like leaves on it and um, umbrellas and it's just, it's a super cute box. So I probably have a code a referral code that I will link down in the description box. But like I said, this is only my second, well, really my third box, but my second season of this box. So I don't really know a whole lot about this box to begin with, except for that I just really love the products that you get inside of them. So with that being said, as a member of FabFitFun, they also do like pretty extensive sales that you could get like a bunch of name brand items for super super inexpensive prices up to 70 percent off i bought quite a bit of that and when you purchase those items they send them with your box so you're not paying extra shipping or anything like that for those items so we'll go through those as well i've got lipstick from both sides of my cup this is definitely not a dry down lipstick it is actually Soap and Glory's Sexy Mother Pucker Matte Lip 3D Color and Sculpt, which I absolutely love these. Actually, I got a pack of three of them at TJ Maxx for like five bucks. They have a 36 month shelf life. And this one is in the color very much, but I also put I also put this one on, which is in the color pink punch so I layered them and I think it created a really pretty color on my lips that matches my eyes pretty well. The eyes are Juvia's Place by the way. The Zulu and the Deuce palette that's what's on my eyes right now and maybe one day I will be able to put on lashes without feeling like I've got giant caterpillars on my eyeballs. Maybe. Probably not. Let's open this box. So I just cut the little strip down at the bottom and it does have a little like battery guy here that tells me that there's something in here that maybe I didn't get it all. Ugh. Oh, there we go. Alright, we're going to open this box and this is what it looks like inside the box. It does have a really pretty like motif going on on the inside as well it is a really pretty color of blue and has that same like fall vibe going on this is how every box i have received from fat fit fun has come so far it does have a magazine in this magazine you have all the items that come in the box but you also have like information it is a really nice magazine i am not mad at this magazine and on the cover of this one is Christina Applegate. I know that a lot of the edit items that you could get in the edit sale, you could also donate to her breast cancer awareness cause. So really excited about that. And in this, I've also got a bunch of paper. It says enjoy $3 off one box of Luna bars. I know that there is a Luna bar in here. And this is a $3 off a box of Luna bars with the discount code 3 luna FFF. so i'll put that down on the screen here so you guys can use it if you want to to get three dollars off the box of luna bars and then there is also this fab fit fun card here which is fun and what this is is a share the love of fab fit fun card so it just says like dear so and so and then it gives them a coupon for ten dollars off their first box 
So cute little sticker here in the shape of a leaf. It says share to win fab fit, hashtag fab fit fun. If we open this, this is what we see here. We have a whole bunch of stuff here. So let's open it up and get in. So like I said, I knew that this box was coming with a Luna bar. This is a salted caramel nut Luna Rika bar with cashew butter filled fruit and nut bar. So while I would typically say, mmm, food, let's open it up and taste it. I have an incredibly awful allergy to nuts, so I won't be opening this, but I might give it to my man or my kids or somebody. I'm sure they will love it. This is cute. It's a simply whimsical hand, oh no, not hand, homemade pretty towel. So these are just some little like tea towels, I think that they're called. All right, so this is the, ooh. Okay, there are two. There are two tea towels here. And they are cute, just a really nice, like, gray stripey pattern, which I don't mind. And they are made of a really nice fabric, too. It's not like terry. I hate kitchen cloths that are terry because I just feel like they hold in germs far worse than they need to. It does say that it is 80% cotton, 20% polyester, and it says to lie and dry. I won't be line drying <laughs> my towels, but these are really neat to get in a FabFitFun box. I do like new towels for sure. The next thing I see in here is something by Alfred. It is a French press coffee maker by Alfred, which is nice, 20 ounces. But first coffee, born in January 2013 on charming on a charming tree-lined Melrose Place in Los Angeles. Alfred Coffee prides itself on first-class customer service, eye-catching design, and of course the best cup of coffee in town. Being is that I work for, you know, Starbucks. I'm not sure that I can jump on board that best coffee in town thing, but they're not around here, so I'm okay with that. <laughs> This is the coffee press. I do love myself an amazing cup of coffee. This is something I chose. I think the option to this was a teapot, and we just don't drink tea enough around here for that. This is a super simple coffee press, but so cute. You guys, I don't know if you guys can see that, but it says, but first coffee right there and has the little Alfred logo. This glass piece comes out for easy washing. I think that is super cute. I'm really digging this coffee press. It is rather tiny. I think I could get probably two cups of coffee out of this guy. Just because my coffee cups are this size. They're pretty big. Just because I, I love a giant cup. But really excited about that. The other great thing about FabFitFun is that if you find yourself in this place where like this is what you got and you don't drink coffee, this is an amazing gift. The next thing I see in here is a beauty blender. I did get the standard hot pink, which is kind of exciting to me. I use the Real Techniques Miracle Complexion Sponge. It is my ride or die. I love that sponge. But I really have never tried a beauty blender because I refuse to spend $20 on a blender sponge. I refuse because you're replacing them. If it gets like nicks in it or if it gets torn in any way, you shouldn't be using it because that's a good place to, you know, where bacteria will store itself. So I refuse to spend $20 on a sponge. I can get four Real Techniques Miracle Complexion Sponges for like $10.99 in Ulta and that is usually what I do. They're on sale all the time. So that is usually what I do and I constantly have a backup. I've never purchased one of these, so I'm actually really excited to use this. This next item is Skin and Company Blue and Capri Shower Gel with notes of Alpine Rose, Sage, Wild Basil, and Autumn Blossom. That sounds interesting. And it is the Italian Collection Limited Edition. It is green, which is odd to me. This is what the bottle looks like. Let's open it up and smell it. Um, it has a seal. If I don't use it, somebody will. 
in my family, so. It's not bad. It, it's not a bad smell. I think it smells more like the basil than it does rose, which is okay with me. The sage and basil actually comes more forward as far as the scents go. I think it smells very masculine. If I'm telling the truth, I will probably give it to my boyfriend because I just feel like it's probably a little too masculine for my taste for me to smell like, but this is what it is again. Uh, this this is really cute on the side of it. It says every morning from the balcony of our yellow house high on the hills of Capri, a smell of wild sage and lemon blends with the endless blue Mediterranean sea breeze and gives life to the fragrance that is not only blessing the body, but the spirit. So that's really cool. That's a really cool little like story into the scent of this. And the next thing I have is this Grown Alchemist Botanical Beauty Polishing Facial Exfoliant Peak Pink Grapefruit Glucomanin Extract. So it is a face exfoliator, which I love face expo exfoliators. This is actually also something I chose from my box. It says it's free from skin aging toxins and carcinogens. And this is what it looks like. It is metal. That's weird. So this is a tube that is a metal tube, which I think is very strange. It even has like a little pokey on the bottom of the tube to get into that guy. <laughs> so I already have a face exfoliator right now that I am using, so I'm not going to poke this open yet, but I'm interested in this product. It's just very simplistic. It's very minimalistic packaging, which I think is amazing. I am not sure how I feel about the metal squeezy tube in my you know, knowledge base, metal squeezy tubes tend to like crack and then break open where they've cracked. So I'm not really certain I like that too much, but I'm interested to try this. I love the minimalistic look of it. There is a coupon on the inside of the box. It says orders over $100 at grownalchemist.com save 20% and free shipping so I'll put the information down here with the code that you guys can use to order some of these products I know that there was three different items that we could choose from the year members well, I know that they have a quite extensive line on facial care or skin care the next item I see in here is a little Bluetooth pair of headphones by Cobra. They're wireless earbuds. I am super excited to have this because this is an item I chose. I chose this over, I think it was an umbrella. I'm not really sure. I chose these because if you guys know anything about me, I maybe have talked about it before. I am a high stress individual, very high anxiety individual that listens to ASMR videos to get sleep at night. And because I have to have a cord attached to my phone to listen to these videos, like my phone never stays on the charger. It always falls off the end table. It's like, and my headphones are falling apart because I roll around on them or whatever. I'm always afraid I'm gonna break my phone. I am excited to have these for that purpose alone. Like this cord is not going to strangle me and these aren't going to be attached to my phone. So my phone could sit on the charger and there will be no threat of it falling off. So I'm super excited to try these guys out. They are again, a Bluetooth set of headphones by Cobra. And this is what they look like. You had the choice of a black with a gold ring or white with a pink ring. And while white with a pink ring doesn't necessarily you know appeal to me this pink now kind of matches my phone really well it's kind of like an orchid color and i don't like i didn't like the gold ones for whatever reason so these are the ones i chose and next in here i see two glam glow bubble sheet masks oxygenating deep cleansing masks 
I am actually pretty excited to try these. Glum Glow is not, from what I understand or from what I can remember, a cruelty-free company. I do not purchase from them, but I have heard a lot about these masks and am super excited to try them. So it's like a sheet mask that you put on, right? Unfold mask, dampen face, place onto the face, align with the eyes, nose, mouth area. And when you take it, it bubbles. And then when you take it off, you scrub at it and it lathers more. I'm really excited to try this guy. So the next thing in here is an item by pharmacy. It is the do it all total eye cream with echinacea green MV. I am really excited about this product. This is also a product I was able to choose from a set of products. I I'm always on the lookout for a good eye cream. While I really think I am in love with the Dr. Brandt Force No More um, depuffing eye needles, no more depuffing, I can't get this box open. What in the heck? I'm in love with that. I also love eye creams. So this is cute. Look at this bottle. I love, love, love the wood top to it. That is so cute. You get a good, a good share of product in there. It looks like it's like, you know, half empty only because it's been sitting like this in the box. Apparently it's all like shifted to one side. It does have a little bit of a green tint to it, but it's got no scent whatsoever. So it's a total eye cream and it says delivered fresh a powerfully moisturizing eye cream to help minimize signs of aging stress and fatigue in the eye contour area so i'm super excited to try that i've never tried anything from pharmacy before which is part of the reason why i picked this because i really wanted to be able to you know speak to this brand on my channel so Last but not least in here, one thing I love about FabFitFun is I have received a couple bags from them now and they all come in a nice container or like a bag that you can, a storage bag. That's the words I'm going for. They always come in a nice little storage bag to put them in. And while one of them I can't ever see myself using, I am super stoked about this one. So this really smells... It is vegan leather. It has a very definite leather feel. It does have that like pebbled motif to it and it is black with a nice gray stripe. You open it up and it does have a little pocket right here that you could like put a phone in or something but that is it. It is a good size. I would say you couldn't use this really as a purse but not that you would want to just saying. But it would be a good like work bag, like a good laptop bag I could fit. Definitely my work laptop in here. And like the pens that I like to carry and maybe my planner, which is a pretty big like weird like happy planner almost. Um, I could probably fit all that in here and it would be full. There's not a whole lot of like... I know some bags you can tell how much room it has in it because it'll have like a flat portion of the bag right here that the seams seam into. There is no flat portion. So there's not a whole lot of width to this bag, but it is a very nice size. It does say creasing is normal with vegan leather and will smooth out after use. And to clean it, just use a damp cloth cloth to wipe down. It's not safe to clean any other way. Don't dry clean it or machine wash it. And definitely don't use heat. It says for optimal use, content should not exceed 22 pounds. So you're looking at probably, like I said, a planner and a laptop, maybe some pens. That's about it. It does say Vince Camuto right there. I don't know anything about Vince Camuto, so I can't tell you anything about that brand. I'm sure that there are some of my high-end friends out there that could tell you a little bit more about the brand and if you can please absolutely put it into the comment section. I would love to know more about the brand. But that is it for the box. So let's look at the magazine. If I could find the magazine. I found it. Okay, so in the magazine, we're going to have the full price of all these items. I do like that it says 
you know, has all kinds of stuff in here. So it's like a regular, like, beauty magazine. Here is a get 20 off. Get $20 off orders of $85 or more at Summer and Rose, which is a pretty great place to actually go look at stuff at. I know that during the Summer Edit Sale, they had quite a few Summer and Rose items that were awesome. So then you have this section here, which tells you all about the items in the box. So, the Beauty Blender is $20. We knew this. I already told you that. And um, you could get one of um, multiple variety of colors in that. The Glam Glow Bubble Sheet Masks are $18 for the two pack. The Simply Whimsical Tea Towels are $14.99 for the two pack, which isn't bad, really. The Luna Rica Bar was just a spon it's who sponsored the box. So there's always a, a a product from the company that sponsored the box in the box. I think last box was a paper straw because it was uh, sponsored by the World Wildlife Association, I want to say. Uh, the Skin and Roma Blue Capri, Blue in Capri Shower Gel was $22. I find that to be a little unreal. <coughs> okay, <laughs> here's where we get into the stuff that we could choose from. So we were able to choose either the Vince Camuto bag or a crown brush set. The Vince Camuto bag is a hundred and twenty eight dollars. One hundred and twenty eight dollar bag. Wow. I don't think I would ever spend a hundred and twenty eight dollars on a bag I couldn't really use on a daily. You know what I'm saying? I mean if I had an office job like I might use that on a daily but I don't, so I won't, so I would never spend that. The crown brush set that you could get in, as opposed to that bag, was a $75 crown brush set. So, I can't speak today, I'm sorry. Next page, we have these two items, which was the teapot or the coffee press, both by Alfred. The Alfred teapot was super cute. It was blue with some flowers on it, which I thought was just adorable, but we just don't drink tea. That guy was worth $26. The press was worth $22. I think it's a, a cute coffee press. It's not like a $22 coffee press. I don't know that I would spend $22 on it, but I'm glad to have it. Um, the next set was the umbrella and the earbuds, and the umbrella was $39.99, the earbuds were $40. I know that I've had, in the past, a pair of Bluetooth earbuds that cost me like five bucks that lasted about five minutes. So I could say, hopefully, this $40 Cyclo Cobra Bluetooth wireless earbud set um, will last quite a while. Uh, the other thing was a an umbrella and it just doesn't rain enough here for me to choose it so I just didn't. So for select members only this is where there were items that I got to choose that you know monthly subscribers wouldn't get to choose from. Um, we were able to choose either the Grown Alchemist Polishing Facial Exfoliant which is what I got which is $67. $67. Holy crap. Or the Grown Alchemist Hydro Repair Day Cream, which was $49. Or the Grown Alchemist Hydro Restore Cream Cleanser, which was $49. $67. Oh my god. Gently exfoliate dry skin to reveal a radiant and moisturized complexion. It's formulated with glucomonin. Um, from cognac to absorb oils and pink grapefruit to fight free radicals. Ow. I mean, it sounds awesome. It sounds amazing. But holy cow, $67? So the last set that we were able to choose from were these ones. And they were the Pharmacy Do-It-All Total Eye Cream, which retails for $38, which is pretty, pretty right on par for an eye cream. Um, the Touch in Soul Metalist Liquid Foil Lipstick Duo in Penny for $24.99, which I'm super glad I did not pick. I thought about it, but I'm super glad I didn't pick it. I've seen a lot of reviews on this, or not a lot of reviews, but a lot of unboxings that got this, and it's not awesome. 
uh, the liquid, um, so it has a glittery gloss on one end and a liquid, metallic liquid matte on the other, which the metallic liquid looks really pretty, but when you add the glittery gloss, it was just way too much, and way too much for my 42-year-old body, so... I don't want to look like I'm trying to be 14 because I am not trying to be 14. And then the last thing was the <sighs> Cuccio Somatology Yoga Detox Bath. Yoga. This is it right here. I don't know if you guys can read that. It retails for $39.95. I figured that this would be something that my daughter would like. She takes baths often. She loves like bath salts and bath bombs and whatnot. So the total of my box, and it says that the total of the boxes range anywhere from right up here. It says $285.97 to $375.94. That is what the total of, bo of the box ranges. My box was worth $369.99, so $370. $370 worth of product. Let's sink that in for a second. $370 worth of product that I received for $49.99. I'm not mad at that. I'm really not mad at that. And then the rest of the magazine just has, like, articles in it. It does have, like, some pretty nice little cooking videos that you can go on to. The Fab for Fun community is amazing. I do have its app on my phone just so that I can go to it if I want to and log in to it and go to the community any old time I want to. It does have videos on recipes. It also has some like exercise stuff on there, just lifestyle stuff, which I think is really cool. It has fall box videos that talks about the items that you got in your box. Um, this magazine also tells you how much you should use of all the items that you received, which I thought was really neat. It has information on the items that you've received. So down here you have information on the brushes and the beauty blender. And up here it talks about uh, the pharmacy and the touch and soul stuff. 50 ways to be thankful I think is really cool. Um, especially since we're coming into the season where people, you know, in November people do the daily things I'm thankful for. So I think that that's really cool. Talks about the Luna Bars and about Alfred, the coffee and tea place. I just really like FabFitFun. Like they are really in it for the companies that they're representing. So as well as the consumer that is purchasing from them. So on to what I received from the edit sale that was part of this. So I was able to pick up a bunch of stuff that would have cost me an arm and a leg through this edit sale at 50% off. So one of the things that I picked up was this Sol de Janeiro little tiny acai, acai body power cream. So I'm not certain that I will love the scent of this. And the reason why I'm saying that is because I did smell it at Sephora after I had purchased this through this edit sale. And I'm not really certain that I'm going to like it on my body. So I am thinking I may put this into a giveaway, but this is typically like a $20, I think, for this size, and I got it for eight. The next thing I got is this Murad Age Reform Invisibler Perfecting Shield Broad Spectrum Primer and Anti-Aging Treatment, which I thought I'd go ahead and try. Murad is a pretty expensive brand. I am not certain exactly how much it would cost, but I know that I got it for pretty, for the price, I'm assuming it was a more expensive item. It was $14.99 for me, or $15. So this is what it is. It is, again, the Murad Age Reform Invisibler Perfecting Shield Broad Spectrum SPF 30 primer and anti-aging treatment in one which I'm super excited about I love it when a primer has SPF in it as well so you don't actually have to think about putting that on primer or a moisturizer so that you don't have to think about putting that on before you go in with the rest of your makeup I love this bottle this is cool 
So this is the bottle. I, I love it. I think it's very cool and I am anxious to try it. The next thing I got is this. <laughs> I struggle with winged eyeliner. We all know this. If you're familiar with me, you know this. It's going to take me probably 400 years to per perfect it on my own. It'll probably take me just as long to perfect the fake lashes. But I did get this liner designer by Beauty Blender. Um, it has a magnifying compact and an eyeliner applicator tool that I thought was so genius because I'm going to try it. So this is what it looks like. It's got like this little tool that sticks to your face that you can use to help you make a wing. <laughs> so... <laughs> It says never fear a cat eye again. I'm I'm really excited to try this guy. The next thing I got, I think I told you guys this in my favorites that if I could find this on sale or for a cheaper price, I was gonna get more for next summer. And it is the Briogeo Don't Despair Repair. So we have a pool, and because of the pool, my hair, my daughter's hair, all of us with long hair, we get really stringy straw-like hair because of our salt generator and the chlorine that it generates in the pool. It just does things that are not great to your hair. And my daughter used one of my bottles half up in one shampoo, and I was like, oh awesome because that's expensive but I was able to get this and the edit on the edit sale for 70% off so yes I'm gonna purchase some more I love it and I won't purchase Briogeo full price because that's just silly it's super expensive and I don't I, I care about my hair but I don't care about my hair I guess that much which is horrible for me to say so then I got myself one of their goodie bags again. This is a, it's $29 for one of these goodie bags. And it comes with, it's like a grab bag. So it comes with a surprise of stuff. And the last one I got like this had like a lot of stuff I could see myself using in it. So I was super excited to try it again. I'll probably get another one next time. We'll see. I got in here is the Oribe or a B, however you say that, Illuminating Face Palette. I was really interested in this because I love me some highlighters. So I haven't tried any makeup by this brand before. I have tried their, um, this is interesting packaging. I have tried their, their hair stuff. Again, I'm not a huge hair consumer. I really just don't care. Um, but this is the packaging, which looks so luxurious. And I know that this is more of a prestige or luxury brand. This is more of a luxury brand. So I'm really kind of excited to have this in my collection. And this is what it looks like. There is a mirror, obviously. And then this is the illuminator. So since I will be using this, I'm going to go ahead and swatch it. And oh my God, that is so soft, you guys. That is pretty. Look at That is so pretty. That feels like silk when you're putting your finger in there and just dipping into it. It feels like silk. This is a beautiful highlighter. Although it's not like a, an in-your-face highlight, so I could totally see it being like more of a natural highlight. So for like my work days or whatnot. Oh, there's a cat in my backyard and it scared the poop out of me. We have been dealing with skunks and raccoons, so that scared me. <laughs> um, that is a beautiful highlighter. I can't wait to try it. Again, the packaging is just, holy cow, it's just so pretty. Happy to have gotten that. Again, I paid $29 for this bag. There are four items in here. Next, I have this Wish Nourishing Dew Mask. Intense treatment, visibly improve hydration, rose hip and lotus. Hmm. I've heard of this brand before. I've never tried anything from this brand. So it is, I mean, it is a mask. I'm not really keen on the, the masks that you have to, you know, squirt on and then put on. Your, I like sheet masks because there there's no mess there's no fuss there's nothing about it that is messy but i'm interested to try this it says it boosts skin's moisture reduces appearance of fine lines and reduces appearance of inflammation i don't know that i have much inflammation but it seems to have all kinds of great ingredients in it it says it's paraben free sulfate free 
phylate free phylate is that how you say that this is the container I'm interested to try that let me know if you guys have tried this before like I said I've heard of the brand I just have never tried anything from it I do love this packaging it is really pretty and really like I don't know luxurious looking and very like sparkly <laughs> so I'm into that the next thing I have here is a hand soak, a Himalayan salt and oatmeal hand soak. You know, I don't know. I might use this. My hands are always put through the ringer because of work, but this is what the packaging looks like. Let me know if you guys have tried this. I don't think I've ever seen this before in my life. That looks interesting. It smells awful. <laughs> not even gonna lie and it appears to be half empty I don't know if that's normal this might go in a giveaway I'm not really sure just because I really don't have the time honestly but I might then again try it because my hands are always put through the ringer because of the place that I work so we'll see about that I have one more item in here and it appears to be a bag it is in a bags that it's in a exterior bag that says private party shop private party.com it has an Instagram little picture Instagram page there there's at shop private party.com and this is going to go into a giveaway because I am just not a ballerina <laughs> meet me at the bar so this will either be a gift or go into a giveaway. I don't know. I mean, it seems like a really sturdy bag. It is a very nice, like, denim look to it. It's just not my cup of tea. And it's a good little bag. It seems sturdy and it seems perfect for a ballerina, but we don't have one of those in my family. So we all kind of big. We big, we big bitches. <laughs> And um, beyond that, we can't dance for shit. So, okay, if I could get it back in, in this bag, I think I wrapped that up wrong. But either way, this guy will be going into a giveaway for sure, or will become a gift for. I do have a friend of mine that is a dancer that I might give it to. Who knows? Who knows? So there's that. So you guys, that was it for my FabFitFun haul. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. I would really enjoy knowing that this is the content that you like to watch. It really does help me as well as my channel. I hope that you guys will want to comment down below what items you're excited to see me use, what, I, what items you've received in your FabFitFun box that might be different from mine. I'm actually pretty, pretty stoked at the items that I got. Like I got a ton of stuff from FabFitFun. So again, FabFitFun is a subscription service you get four times a year. It is $49.99 per installation and you can get $10 off your box by using several different people's codes. I don't think I have one of those codes, but I have a card that I can put the code in here or down in the description bar for. Please let me know that you like this by giving me a big thumbs up. I hope that you'll want to subscribe on your way out. If you like me, if you like the content, whatevs, <laughs> please let me know by subscribing to my channel. I do upload content three times a week, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday or Sunday, depending on my work week. And I really just love watching this YouTube family of mine grow, and I hope that you'll want to be a part of that. Thank you so much for joining me today, and I hope to see you in the comments. Bye, guys.